500 milliliters of a sauce that is 28% vinegar. She has two sauces available. One is 20% vinegar and the other is 30% vinegar. How many milliliters of each should she use to make her sauce? How many of each? So we don't know how much of each we're going to use to make this sauce. But we're going to make a total of 500 of the sauce. So let's look at our little pieces here and try to put them together. So looks like we have 500 milliliters that's going to come from these two different sources, 20% and 30% vinegar, and the end result is going to be 28% vinegar. So since we don't know how much of each we're going to use, let's assign a variable. And we'll say that we're going to use x milliliters of the 20% vinegar, and since the total is going to be 500, that means that for the 30% vinegar, we'll need to use the rest of the 500, right? If we're going to have 500 total and x is used in 20%, 500 minus x would be used in the 30%. So let's come down and start to put this together. So we have how many milliliters of 20%? x. That is at what percentage? 20%. Then we also have vinegar coming from the other source, of which there's 500 minus x many milliliters, and of which 30% of that is vinegar. And by the end, we're going to get a solution that is 28% vinegar. And how many milliliters of that solution are we going to get? But 500. So in each case, we have a percentage times an amount equals the amount of vinegar. So now we can do some algebra and try to solve this equation. So 0.2x plus 0.3 times 500 would be 150 minus 0.3x equals 0.28 times 500, which would be 140. Collect like terms, negative 0.1x plus 150 equals 140, subtract 150 from both sides, negative 0.1x equals negative 10, and then divide by negative 0.1 on both sides, divide by negative 0.1, and it looks like we are getting x equals to 100. x equals 100. Now remember, that's only the 20% liquid. so. How much of the other part did we have? Well, now we can start to fill in that x is equal to 100, as we just solved, and 500 minus x would then be 500 minus 100, which would be 400. So the final answer to this problem is we're going to use 100 milliliters of 20% and 400 milliliters of the 30%. Now, if that made sense, why don't you try to do one on your own here? Or if you have a different method, you can use a different method. But try to do the investment banker here. This investment banker wishes to see 7.2% oh, on investments totaling $1,000. The two investment accounts, one is 3% and one is 10%. How much should be put in each account? So let's try to approach this in almost the same way. We have a total amount of money here. A thousand. We have a total net percentage of 7.2, and then we have these two accounts floating around, one of which earns 3% and one of which earns 10%. So since I don't know how much goes into each, I'm going to put x here, and then I'm going to put the rest of it here, and that's going to take care of all of the thousand dollars that I have to invest. So now bring it all back into the final equation. The amount of money in the first interest account is x at a percentage rate of 0.03. Then the second account has 10% interest. And how much money was put there? But 1,000 minus x. And then finally, overall, we're going to get a 7.2% interest rate on the total of $1,000. So again, interest rates multiplied by money in the bank is going to yield interest. And now we're in algebra land, right? 0.03x plus 10% of 1,000 is 100 minus 0.1 0 
1x, and that's going to be equal to, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 72 dollars. Now collecting like terms would say negative 0.07x plus 100 should be equal to 72, subtract 100, and get negative 0.07x equals negative 28, and divide by negative 0.07 in the final step to yield, what's that going to be, like 400, I think? Let me do this on a calculator just to make sure. Yeah, $400 in that account. So what do we get? X equals 400. The 10% interest must be 1,000 minus 400, which would be 600. And so the very final answer we're going to say will be invest $400 at 3% and invest $600 at 10%. And now I actually have a surprise for you, a third problem. So if you didn't pause the video, why don't you pause the video this time and see if you can do this one. And assuming you gave it a good shot, let's do it together now. A scientist wishes to make, this time, 400 milliliters of a solution that happens to be 2.7 or 27.5% salt. The mixtures that she has are 20% and 40%. So we'll use X here, and then hopefully for the 40, since we had 400 total, here we'll do 400 minus X. So how much of each is she going to use? Well, the first mixture has 20% salt on X amount of stuff, X amount of uh, solution. The other one, the second one, has 40% salt, and that's on 400 minus X milliliters of solution. And by the end, it's supposed to come together to be 27.5% of the 400 solution, 400 ounces or uh, milliliters of solution. So now, do some algebra. 0.2x plus 0.4 times 400 would be 160 minus 0.4x. 0.275 times 400 comes out to be 110. Collect like terms and we get negative 0.2x plus 160 equals 110. Subtract 160 from both sides, so negative 0.2x equals negative 50, and then divide by negative 0.2. And when we divide by negative 0.2, looks like we'll end up getting, is that uh, 250? 50 divided by 0.2? Yes, it is, 250 milliliters. So back to the problem, looks like 250 here, 400 minus 250 here for 150. So final answer would be 250 mil of the 20% and 150 mil of the 40%.